It's not over till it's over. Can I do it? Can I freaking do it? Oh my god. Can we please? Alrighty, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a head start on how to play Silas in the new patch 10.13. For those of you that don't know what happened, basically Conqueror got buffed in a way that's better for late game, worse for early game. Our two biggest counters, Cassiopeia and Syndra, got nerfed in the mid lane, so that's good. And many more. So without further ado, let's just get into today's video. So to start with the runes, Conqueror is going to still be our go-to, like I said, but it's going to be a little bit harder in the early game. Presence of mind is a must for Silas with our mana costs and alacrity for last hitting CS. Secondary, you want to go magical footwear and cosmic insight. The whole point of this new Silas is basically cooldown reduction, cooldown reduction, cooldown reduction. So you also want to make sure to go 10, 1 to 10% cooldown reduction as one of those runes as well. We'll build it into our items really well and it'll make us pretty good. So you want to also start with corrupting potion almost always. And we're against a Zed who has ignite we have tp so we're gonna have to be a little bit safe because when you're against an ignite lane they obviously have more kill pressure than you but in tp is you know overall better since it's lecture it's actually going to be even harder because of that as well all right good gank i got conquer stacks oh he's just dead even though i missed my stuff all right, help me push this, help me push this. Yeah, I was like in the middle of talking, so I didn't know which one to say, but basically, yeah, try to keep your conqueror stacks in really long trades. Uh, because mid is dead, we push in the wave, and we're going to recall now. That way, we don't have to use TP just yet. Alrighty, so normally, I would start Doran's Ring and Dark Seal, but I can't do both. So if you can only do one, make sure to go Dark Seal, or I'm sorry, Doran's Ring. It's still better than uh, Dark Seal. Alright. I'm gonna auto attack here. Oh, actually, no. We got 12 stacks now. I wanna keep the fight going just because I have so many stats. I know Vi's around here. I don't think it matters when I just do tons of damage and kill him. Don't even have to hit my E. Yeah, so as we beat a Zed level one now. <laughs> as long as we get the right combo and everything like that, as long as we keep our Conqueror stacks up, there should be no reason uh, to lose. Because now, technically, since it goes to 12 stacks, even though it's harder to get to 12 stacks, you actually get more AP from it. So we're going to shove it in this wave once again, and then we'll reset. That way we don't have to use our TP just yet. Alrighty, back to lane. We didn't actually really miss anything. Come on, bro. I was level 6. I mean, I have no cooldowns, but like I said, if I can keep the Conqueror stacks going and keep up the pressure, I'll just continue to use my base auto attacks. I'm almost level 6. If I can steal his ulti, that should be a for sure kill. Ah, uh, Vi's here. And Lee is not close by. Alright, he ignited me. That's when I knew I need to flash out. Ooh. Oh, I could have just eat him under tower and killed him. I messed that up. I don't know why I didn't turn around, but we'll take the kill still. Technically, we get the two Dark Seal stacks still. And I have t This is why you keep TP. I have an ulti as well, so I can take... We're going to still Vi's ulti and kill her here. We can chase, we can chase, we can chase. Oh, and we get a flash. Nice. Uh, whew. All those times we saved our TP just for a perfect timing. I mean, you can never predict what happens, but that was so clutch for us to have. And so our first item is going to be a Kindle gem. This is for cooldown reduction and HP, but we're not going to be finishing this. We're actually going to go, we're going to change the build up a little bit uh, because like I said, it's about cooldown reduction now. Let's see. Zed's not six yet. We still win trades. I have a lot of mana. Nice. Because I stole Vi's ulti, I can actually steal his now. So now that I have such a lead and my team wants to go for dragon, I'm going to shove the lane in really hard. I'll continue to trade and poke whenever I can. I got to be careful of Vi though, because if Vi comes and they're both level six, I think I just die straight up. I also have no summoner spells. Got to be a little careful for that. There's the ulti. He doesn't have ignite, which is a big deal though. Wait two seconds, bro. Oh my god, I would have healed off of him. Ah, no, I didn't have my ulti yet either. Unlucky. 
Okay, now when Zed comes back to lane, I'll have the advantage because I have my ulti and he does not. I know a lot of people would normally build a Seeker's Arm Guard when going against an AD mid, but with new Silas, it's really unnecessary. Like, you're honestly just... I like to be more aggressive, but even in this way, you'll be tanky and you just need to do the damage. You need to have this cooldown reduction as soon as possible. Oh, Tower, you're tilting me. All right, I want to make sure I use this ulti before his is back up. Is this back up? Who would have known? Wow, pretty darn close. Yo, Flash! Whew. Like I said, guys, if we didn't have that cooldown reduction, if we didn't have this health, we wouldn't have been able to kill him. Don't go Seeker's Arm Guard. New Silas is not built for that. It's better to just go this build almost always. It works almost all the time. It's pretty insanely OP, actually. Alrighty, now we're going to do a nice reset. We're going to actually build a lost chapter. This is going to give us an extra 10% cooldown reduction. So we'll already be sitting at 30% now, which is pretty insane. Alright, neither of us have ulti now. It's a fair fight, lad. It's not so fair. Maybe I can just dash out and live with this. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh, why do you have a random freaking null magic mantle there? Dang it. I almost lived that too. I was also super close to having my ulti up as well. Alright, so I saw Zed go back. He has a dust blade now, which is a bit of a threat. I'm gonna push the wave in and hopefully get a tower plate. Looks like they're going on that buy. I could definitely help them. <laughs> we could keep going. I could still rumble Zulti. Dang. They actually lost that. But this is why you constantly roam, guys, so you can have that presence on the map. I also built Sorceress. She was really good for Silas. Oh, crap. Yeah, I want to fight him, but I can't steal his ultimate yet. He's a lot, a lot of lethality. I'm gonna wait for him to ult me, then I'll ult him. That way he doesn't do his combos and I do mine. You're dead. Ooh! I didn't even dodge there. I actually just went right back into him. <laughs> but even so, I'm just fed at this point. I need to wait. This is the hardest part about new Silas. You gotta wait until you're at about 1900 gold so you could finish your loot in Zeko, which is not easy to do. Sure, you can build a Blasting Wand, but I like to keep everything, so I kind of just stay in lane until I have my 1900. Then we'll be at a full 40%, 45% cooldown reduction, actually, which is, which is really, really, really insane. All right, so we see them here. I have no ultimate, and I'm low HP. I'm going to have to play it responsible, which I don't like. Because if I can just come up here, ult me, and then I'm bursted down. Especially when I can't steal an ultimate myself. Zed will be here in just a moment. Okay, she's bot side. With Zed, I'm just going to look for quick Ws to get off of him. I'm not looking for a fight. I'm just going to W off of him and then run away. I just want health back. As you can see, we're still killing him though. <laughs> you might have to recall actually. Maybe, maybe, maybe? It's worth a shot. He's jabating us. Oh. He's smooth. Get him! I think he's dead. What? I don't get an assist? Alright. I one-up your ultimate with my ultimate. Okay, I guess they were all there, but it's okay. I have 1900 now. 1900. I could TP. We got a good game on our hands, boys. This is a close one, actually. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Please tell me I'm not too late. Oh, does she has double buffs? I gotta go. I gotta go. I hate you, Lux. She thinks it's not warded. It's so warded. <laughs> Thanks for the shutdown. Oh, I was about to mauled. Oh, and now I'll have a level up Zed's ulti. That I like. You're not gonna escape me. And he used flash. 
and ultimate. See, we just scaling now, boys. We just scaling. Now that we have 45% cooldown reduction, well, and double bumps was a nice help. It's just insane now. Our Conqueror is just going to go through the roof. Uh, this is just how you got to play Silas. I like to play a little dangerous because I want to, I like trades. You know, like, I've died four times, but oh my God, leave me alone. This can't mid, man. I mean, whatever accelerates me, I'll do one for ones all day, honestly. All right, neither of us have ultis. I don't know where Vi is. I really want to tear down this tower though. I'm going to do it. Boom, first turret, 450 gold in the bank. And now, now we're going to finish our Hextech Portable. It's still a great item, like honestly amazing. Oh frick, wait, I need to get that. <laughs> I can't let it go to waste. But like I was saying, we're going to get Hextech Portable as our second item. It's still really good, but like I said, we just wanted to go for the instant 45% cooldown reduction because that's what it's all about. We got a fight here. You just use everything on you. You're just gonna have to be the sacrificial lamb, honestly. For my dark seal stacks, I'm at 2,600 gold now. Holy freaking crap! Let's just reset off this. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy Magi's even though I don't have 10 yet, just because I'm gonna snowball. Silas is one of the most snowball champions in the game, so once you got a lead, you really want to roll with it. It's a little risky, but if it works, this game will be over in like five minutes. So that's why I really like to do this. It's a really good way of closing out games. You don't waste your time in case you were gonna lose and you don't waste their time either. Looks like there's a fight top lane. I could still Rumble's ultimate. Oh shoot, you died. Uh, if I got there in like two more seconds. I'm just gonna go from back turret. Hextech mobility OP. No way. Go get him for me. I'm tilted. Oh, now you miss yours too. I think I could have committed to the rumble, but I thought my second Q would kill him. My fear of this game is just being CC chained. Okay, I could steal her ultimate. This should be a good kill, actually. Oh, she's really just going for our misfortune. You're going to give out your bounty. Okay. Well, there's no way you get out of this. I'm not going to use ulti if it's a for sure kill anyways. This is good. This is really, really good, guys. I'm just going. I need to heal off of someone. Oh, we lost that. I need to heal, like, instantly. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No more. Dude, I'm literally 2 HP. I got my- I'm not losing my Magi stacks over this. You guys got it. You actually don't even need me. Please! Okay. Alright, so my next item is going to be uh, Rabidon's Death Cap. This is because, like I said, snowball, 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 guys. We're already at 16 stacks. We're going to be doing so much damage now. Uh, that's what it's all about. So, I'm going to be building that next. It's a huge power spike for Silas as well. You really want to play these games aggressive if you want to win in this new patch. You want to be the first to the highest level because of because of Conqueror buffs, all these things, so... Uh, it's really just about snowballing Silas. I have TP, so I'm just gonna keep splitting until I really see they need me. But, I think I've snowballed my team enough. Uh, the only strong one is really Vi. What's really important is to continue playing the map. Don't forget about your farming, don't forget about your split push ability, all these things. Now we're level 15, it's at level 12. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing. I'm actually just gonna... Oh, hey. I'm not going to sit in your ultimate. But goodbye. I'm just gonna counter jungle while I'm at it. Okay, so we're at 580 AP. That's a pretty big deal. That's not including... Conquer yet. I'm gonna continue split pushing until I see my team needs me. But hell, man. I just dominate these side lanes now. I'm trying to break down each one's tier 2. So I already got tops. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to get too cocky where they CC me. That's the only way I die if I get out CC'd. Holy crap. Nope, 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 nope. Yep. Damn it. 
<laughs> I did exactly what I shouldn't have done and I knew it was wrong. Yeah, I'm pretty tanky now. I got Rumble R. Let's try to use this first. It's a 3v4, but... Pretty sure we got this. Does it kill? Oh my god! <laughs> That's so troll, actually. I'm gonna keep shoving this. I wanna get this tower. It's really close to dead. Alright, now I can get Morello. Which is pretty big. That's a good ulti. But I'm gonna make sure not to use it on her. Or on a group of people. In any 1v1, I completely dominate, but when I get in the middle of something, not so pretty. And they're staying grouped up very well, actually. I have a flank, but Darius isn't here. I'm caught out. Oh my gosh. Darius is AFK. I wasn't even looking at the mid lane. I just died. All right. I guess we gotta play this 4v5. I love PB. Wow, he really just flashed in for her. I mean, he's not disconnected. He just straight up didn't want to play anymore. So lost. For my last item, I'm probably just gonna go Spear Visage because they have a lot of anti-heal for me and things like that. Uh, but we just lose. Oh my god, he's here when we're losing. Wait! He's purposely- Dude, we could still win! It's not over till it's over. Can I do it? Can I freaking do it? Oh my god. Can we please win? I mean... Okay, let's get this cloud soul. Jesus Christ. They were actually knocking on. I was like, okay, see you game. See you video. What the hell? Okay, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Dude, don't go for blue buff right now. What the hell? Now I'm wondering if Darius was in base the whole time on purpose. Well, now he's here. Holy. No. Now Lee's gone. No freaking way, man. This isn't real. He randomly spam pinged Lee Sin and then Lee Sin leaves. We are winning this. God. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's go. Open Nexus. They have no TPs, though. I think just a straight up 4v5 is what we need. Maybe a pick, actually. Yeah, probably pick. Two Edge of Knights? Please tell me you got him. Please tell me. You got this. We're winning, we win. Wait guys, we win. Death timers are long. <gasps> Holy shiitake mushroom. This was the hardest game of my life. No cap, no freaking cap. Please end, no more of this. Please end, please end, long timers. Okay, okay, don't get hit by anything from Lux. Don't get hit by Lux, don't get hit by Lux. Lux, I need to heal. <gasps> Demacia! And that is how you do it, boys! Alrighty, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys 
tomorrow with that video. Peace.